another blow to the state's health and economy. Today, 2,000 workers at a Worthington processing plant are being sent home. 33 workers at the JBS pork processing plant have tested positive for COVID-19. State health experts went to Worthington this weekend, hopeful of containing the spread. But as Bill Hudson explains, closing now could lead to a faster reopening. After a handful of workers at the JBS processing plant came down with COVID-19, health experts jumped into action. I think at the rate it's going, I don't know how we avoid it. Union leaders say steps were underway to stop the spread, screening all workers, sanitizing and slowing production. But when 33 of the plant's 2,000 employees tested positive, JBS was urged to close. The handwriting was on the wall, so to speak, that this had the potential to grow significantly larger than it currently is. Trying to prevent a wider outbreak, like the one hitting the Smithfield pork plant in nearby Sioux Falls. JBS processes 20,000 hogs a day, so sitting idle will have a huge economic impact. So much of our economy is tied to the egg business that revolves around livestock production. How severe depends on how long the closure lasts. Worthington City Administrator says JBS is not only a major employer, it impacts farmers, feed mills, and other related industries. We have three pharmaceutical companies here in town that uh, produce antibiotics and vaccines related to livestock. Uh, and they're located here in large part because of the, the livestock industry. At the union's urging, JBS will give furloughed workers full pay and health benefits, hopeful of restoring both health and a vital food supply quickly. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. Some Worthington families have workers in both pork plants. Uh, health officials believe that may have contributed to the spread.